Today is March 6th and it's really warm out today. It's supposed to get almost 70 degrees out and yesterday it was freezing. It was below, it was below 32 and it's been like that for over a week. So it's very, it's very nice being out today in this warm temperature and I really want to poke around the garden and uh, see what's, what's growing. Um, I, I know that it's even greener just overnight since yesterday. We had a, some rain this morning and it really feels springy out. So let's see if there's anything waking up. Welcome to Grace Garden, where I love to be. But I also love to travel and explore the big beautiful garden that we all share. I'm your host, Carol Kanicki, and I'm so glad you've come along. So thankful to enjoy the beauty in nature and to get to work with the things that I love. And to get to share all that with you. Join me for some awesome adventures in nature and at some other exciting destinations. I hope to inspire you and to document my memories. Thank you for coming along with me out into our Grace Garden. First of all, there's sun sunshine oh and it feels warm and delicious it's amazing and it's Pennsylvania mud season here and here here is my little cottage garden I don't know if much has overwintered in here I see that there's a fever few there that's definitely growing and uh, these are Montauk daisies and there's, there's green leaves in there. So they're alive and doing well. And oh, look at this. This, this is a Santolina that we got at Well Sweep Herb Farm last summer. That overwintered well and is growing robustly. And the sage plants, they don't look very uh, pretty at the moment but they're alive I don't know if I should cut them down or not back here is empty soil where the dahlias were actually this is a dahlia I didn't bother pulling out because I didn't like it um, oh, I'm sorry Freya This is the soil. I'm gonna put some compost in there and turn it over. I don't think I'm gonna put dahlias in there again. I think I'm gonna put something different and I wanna move this wash tub someplace else. Um, I've been trying to grow strawberries in this wash tub for decades and it just never works. <laughs> I don't know why. We'll try something else, I guess. And under this pile, and under that spot right there, are gladiolas, which did make it through the winter last year, still planted there. So hopefully we'll see them coming up soon, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna disturb that yet. Um, and down here, I have these weird mushrooms growing in the wood. Some of them are white, but some of them are orange. There's some more of them over here. These white, these white mushrooms. But then there's this orange one. Very bright and cheery, but unusual. And over here, against this edge of the lawn are daffodils coming up and they they're 
pretty far along because we, the ground was solidly frozen two days ago. So, and it is not frozen now. I, it's, it's mushy. Um, and look how much growth has happened on that in such a short time. I'm looking forward to cleaning up all this brush. You don't want to remove the uh, top dressing too early. Um, and the daffodils know when to put on the brakes and hang out and wait. There they are, doing well. Over here, there's always crocus. Oh my goodness, there are crocus blooming. Oh, I'm so glad I decided to come out and see. Goodness, look it. There are crocus blooming already. I was just gonna look for the leaves, which there's lots of the leaves, but there's also crocus blooming. That's awesome. Wonderful. Freya, stop that. Get away. Don't drink that. Good girl. Good girl. Freya really loves the water. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take her someplace where there's streams. Over here, there's green of iris and that is hesperus and there's some more iris there coming up these are violas violets i gotta get rid of all this brown and put down a layer of compost here but it's nice to be out on this warm day. It, it is one of those days that the air feels perfect. And the sun is warm. And it seems like everything's waking up. I don't know if you can hear the church bells in the background, but it's a nice touch for me. Here, these are seed heads from Clematis here in my Euonymus. Ooh, look at this. That's beautiful. I want, I want to get it to go on the arch better, though. I want it to to go that way. I'm gonna have to tie it better. That's awesome. Oh, let's go see. I planted that. Cuttings of that here in the corners. Oh, and look at it. Oh my goodness. Look how long it is. side of the garden is very mossy and I like it. I like all the moss because it's a shady side of the house over here. It gets thin sun early in the spring and late in the fall but the rest of the time it's really a shadier place. But I want to make 
better use of this area right next to where I should have a place to sit. So let's see how many weeks go by before you get a video showing the before and after. Here's my beautiful little rose bush and it's very vigorous. Purple chariots it's called. I need to take some cuttings off of that. And then back there, we've made progress with cutting down everything more and more. And now you can really see my beautiful boxwoods. These are amazing. I love them. Oh, I'm sorry, little birds. my pine trees. I love them too. And this here is a silver maple that I planted. Multi-trunked but very slender and upright shape. Good to fit in a smaller space. And then this here was supposed to be a Quonson cherry tree when I bought it, that's what it was labeled, but it is not a Quonson cherry tree. And it has been here for 20 years, this tree. Um, there's a squirrel's nest up in the top, but it, it is an ornamental cherry tree, but it's a single flowered cherry tree. Um, it doesn't produce cherries, but it does produce bees, which is nice. I like the bees to come. And when you get a Google notification that tomorrow is going to be 21 degrees colder than today. It is never a good thing. And now this is happening. It's snowing again. Whoa. Are you getting all snowed on? We definitely have the promise of spring to look forward to, regardless of what the weather is right now. Please make sure you're subscribed. It really means the world to me. And I have some great adventures planned. So until next episode, bye for now.